A quote from John Calvin to document the dark depths of Calvinism found within his Institutes of the Christian Religion. Calvin wrote, By predestination we mean the eternal decree of God, by which he determined with himself whatever he wished to happen with regard to every man. All are not created on equal terms, but some are preordained to eternal life, others to eternal damnation, and accordingly, as each has been created for one or other of these ends, we say that he has been predestinated to life or to death. This God has testified not only in the case of single individuals, he has also given a specimen of it in the whole posterity of Abraham to make it plain that the future condition of each nation lives entirely at his disposal. This quote from John Calvin's Institutes of the Christian Religion shows us fundamentalist Calvinism at its heart and John Calvin's blasphemous misrepresentation of God, along with Calvin's complete misunderstanding of predestination. Calvin, who Charles Spurgeon could not praise highly enough, states that God creates and preordains souls either to eternal life or eternal damnation according to his purpose, and that in this regard all are not created on equal terms. Can you imagine if Calvinist ministers were actually honest in their teaching and told people this information in their evangelistic activities? Calvinists, like Charles Spurgeon, have to become double-tongued and carefully strategic in their preaching in order to cover the obvious cracks and failures of their abysmal doctrinal abomination. What we see here in this statement by John Calvin is the portrayal of a false, tyrannical God. We see sovereignty without love, a cold, hard tyranny. Yes, Calvinists, God is God, but God is love. Study scripturally God's beautiful character and the foundation of his provision of salvation, the forgiveness of sins, and you will see that such flows from love, grace, mercy, kindness. Calvinists desire a monster. They have two, Calvin and his false God. Let us instead worship the living and true God in the beauty of holiness.